Okay, guys. So, I'm starting this recipe without Tammy, even though it's a Christmas recipe. We decided to do the Christmas recipes together because Christmas is about family and fun. It's not about presents, not about getting anything. It's about showing you guys some, some good relationship and showing you how much we love each other and all that stuff. So, she'll be here soon. So I'm gonna start this, okay? We're gonna be doing Lazy Man Red Velvet Cheesecake Bites. It's gonna be good. So come on in close, I'll show you what I got. Okay, the whole idea is we gotta bake red velvet cake first because we're gonna crumble it later, okay? So I'm gonna bake the red velvet right now. I'm gonna, we're gonna do the rest together, all right? So I've got the red velvet cake and if you don't want the lazy version, make your own cheesecake. I just got the tubs of cheesecake filling that I'm gonna use. I got the regular cheesecake. And then I got the, it's a hazelnut chocolate. So we'll see how that works out, all right? So let's bake this according to the box. That's the first thing we're gonna do, all right? Which is like egg and oil and maybe some water. I'm not sure I got the directions, but uh, yeah, one cup, exactly, egg, oil, and water. So I'm going to bake this, and then we'll do the rest with Tammy. All right, this is what happens when you leave a cake out to cool, and you have an immature 19-year-old Jack Jr. around the house. He just decided to make a happy face, so he knew I was crumbling it up. It wasn't like he destroyed my cake. He knew what I was going to do to this. I'm going to crumble this up right now. So let's get started. We're just going to grab chunks of this and crumble it in a bowl, okay? Let's go. So just grab this by sections. All we're doing is crumbling it up into like a powder and just keep it in a bowl until the cheesecake's rolled in the bowl. So then we'll show you what to do. Okay, let me tell you what we're working on right now. So Tammy is is coating the the balls of cheesecake dough. Tell me if it's a dough, it's a pre-made cheesecake batter. And then she's transferring it to a, a baking sheet where we're going to freeze it again. So we're just trying to get them coated. The problem we face in our Lazy Man version is the cheesecake batter is very whipped. So we had to freeze it for about an hour. Hour, hour and a half. Hour, hour and a half. Okay. So we get some substance and we're getting substance now. So now we're coating it in crumbs and then we'll refreeze it and see how it turns out. This right now is a chocolate hazelnut. We have regular still in the freezer. We'll also have regular too, because we're gonna take it to Bible study. So that's what we gotta make sure it's frozen. It's good. So our concern right now is just getting it coated. And that should do it. So we'll show you the tray before we put it in the freezer. As you can see, we've got the balls of cheesecake coated in the red velvet. We're doing all the chocolate ones right now. We should have a whole tray of chocolate and then a whole tray of regular in the freezer. And that's what it looks like. Wow, look at this. Tammy did a great job at rolling these. They're a little flat on the bottom, of course, but they're beautifully coated. Let's give these guys a try and see how they are. Are you ready? We're gonna do this one right here that I already picked up and touched. Right there, here we go. The more I chewed these, the more the cheesecake flavor came out. I love these babies. What a great holiday dessert. Nice little uh, treat for everybody. We're going to be taking these tonight to Bible study. And I will see you guys in the next episode. I love you.